Writers write a draft, revise, and edit. You will need your writing journal, a pencil, notebook paper, and your folder. Learning intention. Writers write a draft and revise and edit their writing as they work. Success criteria. I will use a checklist as I write a draft. I will revise and edit my writing as I write a draft. Proofreading marks. As you're writing, make sure that you're looking at the things that you should be doing in your paper, like capitalizing or lowercase letters or word spacing and so forth. Now it's time to write your draft. You will need your sequence organizer from yesterday. Let's take a look at my draft. Be sure to reread your paper as you write. First, I have my date, April 16, 2021. Then I have my title, Swimming Underwater. Notice that my paragraph starts with what's called an indention. I skip, this, I skip some spaces and then I start writing my first paragraph. The first time I swam underwater was a very memorable experience. First, it was a warm summer day in June. I was four years old and was at the pool with my mom. I was playing in the cool water having a blast. My next paragraph starts with, it, with an indention as well. Next, I decided that I wanted to try swimming with my head underwater. I had never done this before, so I felt nervous. I could smell the chlorine. My next paragraph also has an indention. Then I put on a pair of goggles. I felt the blazing sun and could taste the salty water dripping down my face. You can do it! My mom cheered for me. Be sure to reread your paper as you write and make corrections. So in my paper, I have last, I took a deep breath, I believed I could do it. I put my head, oh, there's a mistake. So notice what I did to my mistake, underwater and held my breath. I could see the bottom of the pool. I felt proud. Swimming underwater is a time I will never forget. So I will go back on my paper and I would make the correction and write under water and spell that correctly. Use your checklist as you work. Remember to write the date and the title at the top of the page. Use a story grabber at the beginning to grab your reader's attention. Use capital letters at the beginning of each sentence and also for proper nouns. Write a punctuation end mark for each sentence. Have a beginning, middle, and end to your writing piece. Write all the details for the beginning, middle, and end. Try your best to sound out and spell words correctly. Draw and color a neat picture for your story. Use neat handwriting throughout the story. Upload your writing as an assignment. 